Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna try a must-have bone fish fry. Um, it's my take on uh, the workers' mantis shrimp, and it's easy to tie, and you can always catch a bone fish in this one. So, firstly, we're gonna mount the hook. Make sure you use good, strong hooks when fishing for bone fish. Hopefully, you're gonna catch a big one. Just a bit behind the hook, I'm gonna stop and thread. Just give it a little bit of glue. And gonna take our PT nice. Gonna make sure they're securely fastening so you can catch many bonefish and be stuck many times without fucking up the fly. There we go. And then we're gonna take just a good amount of crab fur. from mouthpiece for our strip. It's hard to get enough if you only use the fine parts in the end. So I usually just pull off so you still get a nice table. Like this. Something like this. Gonna tie it in on top. Then we're gonna cut off three rubber legs. I like to use silicone rubber legs because they never go bad. They're very strong and they're round. I'm gonna start with one. Double it down. Cut it in half. I'll tie one in on each side. Now we're going to take a very small amount of SLF salt water tap. Just make a little base for the shrimp eyes. Make sure you don't use too much. We're going to tie in a lot of legs on this one. Take my easy shrimp eyes. I trim the eye from the stem and just a little bit of a triangle so you still get the good tying part but without any excess material. I 
it's important on this fly that the eyes don't stick out too much. So you don't get tangled in the rubber legs and stuff like that. Gonna take a bit more dropping. I'm gonna take a second rubber leg, double it down, and cut it in half. Tie it in just a bit shorter and the first one. Trim off this. The last bit of dubbing. No. And the last rubber leg, same as the other ones. Double it down. And cut it in half. Again, just a bit shorter than the last one. This is a very simple, but very effective fly. It's light, you can fish it in very shallow waters without spooling the fish. And the bonefish love mantis shrimp. It's always a good idea to have many flies when you go around the world to fish and it's easy to get a lot of these. You can vary the colors a bit but tan and sand colors in my opinion are the best. I'm just gonna start just behind the bead chain. A bit of dubbing. Towards rubber legs. Yeah. Make sure you don't use too much material and you tie it down nicely because otherwise it's going to be hard to turn the fly the way we want it. The mantis shrimp is kind of a fat shrimp and doesn't taper that much but don't want too bushy materials so the fly is going to turn the wrong way around. Just between the eyes here go we finish and just a bit of varnish prevents the fire from corroding too much keeps the water away from the hook eye but again these hooks really takes a lot of salt water before you see anything on them like this 
trim off a bit. Correct the legs. There you have a very nice, very simple bonefish fry. You catch a lot of fish in this one. Thank you.